your idea to do these two in rep, I haven't seen many other people do it. And, you know, August meant for these two to be paired up, you know, at least conceptually. He, he had meant for this to be tagged together. It's the same set, and the set is the back of his house. This is an extremely special situation in the American Century Cycle, to have these two plays be paired up. So the refrigerators, huh? Mm-hmm. Me and Mr. How many are you going to buy? And where you get them from? Some white fellows in the penitentiary anyway. August always told a story about, like, uh, he he smoked cigarettes at the time, so right after uh, the play was done for Fences, uh, he would, like, run out and, and light up. And then, you know, somebody was chasing him, you know, walking out, and he says, Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson, how did, you know, a Polish man, how did you know my father, <laughs> you know? And all the way in Poland. And it's, it's, it, that's how universal these plays are. <laughs> you know I always want to have my picture taken. You know how you had your picture taken when you posed for mm-hmm. I thought that would make you somebody. I posed for the police. Well, they said I wasn't nothing but a sorry-ass criminal. I said, okay, just take my picture. Oh. They took my picture and I asked the man, can I order some for my family? That was the beginning of all the trouble. <laughs> they put me in a hole for trying to be smart. He don't know I was serious. When I was in London, they say, oh my gosh, you know, you, you guys have an American Shakespeare, and that's August Wilson. As in Shakespeare, he wrote so many different period pieces that symbolize a whole decade, and they, they speak for all of us, you know, black, white, anybody who's American. My role is to inspire people to keep doing these plays and having those plays say something about what's happening right now and to say, hey, you know, think of this further. 